Greetings and beautiful people and welcome back to another first time reaction. Now, I think it is safe to say we have been massively neglecting Vocaloids. I have fell in love with Hatsu Miku and I've been dying to check out more Vocaloids on this channel. I'm recently on Twitch, I asked you guys to give me some Vocaloid recommendations and all of you said that the next Vocaloid song I should check out is this one right here, Naru Lost One's Weeping. So, that is exactly what we're going to do today. Now, I've never heard anything by Naru before, don't know anything about this singer, don't even know if it's a male or female voice that we're getting ourselves into here. Literally nothing. The only thing I have heard is this is an incredible song and I need to hear it. So, I'm going to keep this intro nice and short and jump straight into this one. But before that, I just want to let all of you know that tonight, 8.30pm, BST, that's UK time, live on Twitch, we'll be starting our first ever anime watch along series so if you want to join me for that link is in the description and do not forget to subscribe because at 300,000 subscribers i'll be giving one subscriber a thousand dollars enough of my talking let's jump into my first time of reaction to naru lost ones weeping with vocaloids they hit like notes and it's just it's just amazing it's like flawlessly incredibly done um one thing i want to know with a vocaloid voice um how does it work how, how how does it work i know it's a program i know it's a software but what does it mean can you, do you just type in a word and it says a word and the reason i'm wondering this is because obviously there's like text to speech and stuff but with a vocaloid um there almost seems to be emotion changing pitch changing style um, the notes can call and roll and run like longer as well. How does it work? It's so damn impressive. Um, oh, I didn't realize there's uh, subtitles. My bad, my bad. I've just turned them on. Don't worry. <laughs> Japanese music and the same with Korean music and a lot of music out of Asia um, so fascinating when it comes to the lyrics as well because you can just see like a massive cultural shift from what I'm used to here in the West to what is like common and normal in the East and what I mean by that is a couple of things I've realized one food seems to be much more prominent in Japanese music no one that I've heard in the UK no artist or in Western music really sings raps like anything about food it's, n it's not really a topic ever um, but in like Eastern, uh, East, sorry, in, um, yeah, in Eastern music, it is, uh, it is a big topic and I've, I've asked questions about it before, but the other thing that is such a prompt, like there's two, two, well, two things. It's, uh, age, how age and like with age comes respect. Um, again, that's not something that's normal in the West. And, uh, lastly, which is the point of this song is education. Education seems to have so much more pressure around it in Japan and Korea. Um, at least from what I've seen and heard in what I've been reacting to. And it just seems like, it seems horrific for like young minds to be put under such pressure. Because I say this all the time when it comes to the educational system. It's so sad that like before you're even 16, you should have your whole life planned out when you're not even sure who you are yet. I didn't know who I wanted to be until my mid 20s. Like you don't even know who you are. You don't even know who you want to be. And it seems like so much pressure to give a young mind that isn't even fully developed. <laughs> 
You see what I mean with the notes and the rolling and everything? It's incredible! It's so well done! I love it! I love it! How do they do this? How do they do this? Blows my freaking mind! It's so good! It's absolutely heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. You have this epic, fast-paced metal music in the background to these brilliant vocals. Absolutely incredible. With the changing notes as well, especially when um, when she's singing uh, Who Was It? Or You Know Who It Was? And it's going higher and higher. It's beautiful to listen to. Matching this instrument so fast as well as instrumental. But the lyrics and the topic of this song is absolutely heartbreaking about losing your dreams and forgetting your dreams and feeling this pressure and, and feeling like, like literally all those sort of thoughts and how negative and heartbreaking this is it, it, it it's one of these topics that you see it it's just it's just beautifully heartbreaking how you can have a song as epic as this right and it can have a topic that is so important and the world needs to listen to so amazing brilliant brilliant song <laughs> tell you right now first time impressions Naru fucking crushed it as far as first time impressions go it is hard to top this when you have music as good as this with lyrics as important as this you tick all the right boxes for me and you make me so curious to hear more if the other songs are going to follow similar helping people topics with amazing music doing it in like the best way then I want to hear more this this was brilliant lost ones weeping Nuru, what an absolutely incredible song. And the fact that it's a Vocaloid is mind-blowing. What an amazing song. I'm so impressed with this. I really am. I really am, by the way. Very, very impressed with this. Absolutely loved it. Um, <clears throat> I just want to add like a little positive message at the end of this video. Um, just to tell people a little bit about myself. Um, and hopefully this can help inspire people who are in, who are studying at the moment, who are in the educational system and who are feeling a bit down. Um, sadly, I cannot speak for what it is like in the East, as I don't know. And I will never begin to tell or explain to a culture how things should be or how things are here, because that's not right. That's not normal. Every culture has things differently and has... It, basically, what I'm saying is, if you're from one country and they do something different in another country, unless it is suppression and evil, there is no reason for you to ever look at it and voice your opinions on it and say it should change. All right. And I don't, I don't know how to word this without sounding like a, uh, I don't know how to word it. But what I will say is every country is different. Every culture is different. And where you can, it is important to respect and at least understand that things are different in different countries. Right. That makes sense. But what I can speak of is my own personal journey when it came to the education system. I failed everything. 
everything in school. Absolutely failed everything. I had no interest in, in school. Failed everything. Um, as someone who was considered pretty bright, I just did not care. And I failed everything. And I then went to college and had to retake everything in college. Redo it all. And I didn't care. And then one day, I was just like, I don't know what happened. I got a part-time job. I was working. And I just had this random snap in my head. And I was like, I was like, I can't do better. I was like, I know I can do better. I just don't care about it. And I, don't, I literally don't know what happened, but I suddenly started caring. I spent some money on some new school equipment or college equipment. And I put the effort into college. And I got good grades. I managed to pass everything in college. Uh, got a politics A-level. Did all sorts of stuff, right? I then managed to get into university on a foundations course. Um, I then went and to university and then with the foundations course, which is a foundation degree, I then managed to do a full degree. I then got two degrees in a subject and I then managed to get a job off the back of that. That was all off of failing everything in school, everything. So just know this, you can still succeed. You can still do well, even if at the start, when people are telling you these are the most important years of your life, you don't do well. They are important, but they are not the end. So please understand, if anyone is feeling that pressure, if anyone is watching this right now and this song just relates to that, I just wanted to share my own story and what happened. And hopefully that can just help someone out there who's struggling a little bit, who feels like if they do fail, it's the end of the world. Just know it really isn't. If anything, it could be the start of a new journey. So I hope that helps at least one person watching this. I, I, and if you didn't care about it, I'm sorry. I just, I, this song, just, I, I just wanted to try and sort of spin it in a, uh, in a, in a more positive way. But what I will say... I love this topic. I love this message. It's something I've seen in K-pop a lot as well, um, especially with groups like BTS, where they um, where they talk about the educational system and want people to be more willing to chase their dreams, which is exactly what Nuru uh, or Niru uh, Nuru <laughs> in Lost Ones Weeping um, said as well. Literally in this in this song, exact words: "Where were your dreams gone? What happened to them?" Like those lyrics, and it's the same. You should always remember your dreams, and you should always at least try and chase them a little bit. Um, you can do it safely. And uh, and I think that's an important thing that so many people forget to do. And I love that Nauru in this song mentions it. And I love that I hear it a lot in Korean music as well. Um, this was awesome. Thank you so much for this recommendation. Uh, I want more from Nauru. I really, really do. I want another one. What is like considered Nauru's best song? One you would all love me to react to. Or is there another Vocaloid you guys love me to check out? Another Vocaloid song? Um, anything. Give me recommendations in that comment section down below. Keep the recommendations coming. I pick every single video based on recommendations here or on Twitch. I never personally pick them. So if you've got an artist, a song, anything in the world you would like me to react to, simply put it down below. But other than that, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching my video the whole way through. Do not forget to subscribe if you're still watching now and you haven't subscribed because you don't want to miss out on that giveaway at 300,000 subscribers and we are fast approaching that number. I know it doesn't look like it, but if you look at the behind the scenes, Trust me, so don't miss out. Um, and I appreciate all of you for the support. You're absolutely incredible people. Don't forget, 8.30 p.m. tonight on Twitch, live watch-along series. Don't miss out. And as always, my friends, you see me in the next video.